What's up guys? We just got back from an awesome fishing trip today and I'm about to fillet up my catch, a beautiful dog snapper. And we're gonna be doing something a little bit different today to cook our catch. We're gonna be using these beautiful banana leaves growing in my backyard and we're gonna be wrapping the fish in the banana leaves and then placing it on the barbecue. Stay tuned. Good morning, Darcelle Nation. Coming at you from Boynton today, nice and early. We got another, excuse my language, another darn hurricane coming at us. Yeah. Number, this tropical depression nine. I'm supposed to get in tomorrow, so the weather's horrible. It's gonna probably rain. They're like 25 knot winds, but we gotta get out here and fish. Darn's so getting the net ready. It's gonna run a mullet run. We're trying to catch some mullet and then catch some snook, tarpon, jacks. It's gonna be very exciting. We haven't been out here in Boynton in quite a while. Go. I may have just seen a fish underneath that dock. Let's go, Sizzle. That's a solid snapper, dude. Heck yeah, let's bring him to the bow. Oh yeah, way to start the morning. Not complaining now. So we're looking for live bait this morning. Not having a ton of luck. We're going to different bridges, looking for the mullet because it is the mullet run. And uh, we stopped at this bridge and Brian threw out his lucky uh, uh, flare hawk and I flew out this little DOA jig. So I like to throw this this time of the year. And I just caught a solid snapper. Heck yeah. So just popping out this hook, DOA, uh, terrorized little bait here. And I'm gonna link all this information for you all to check out. I'm going to post all the details of this catch on the Fish Angler app, the exact location of where this fish just got pulled out of. And the Fish Angler app is a great app for us anglers to use, whether you're a beginner or an experienced angler, for us to share information about our catches and also so you can go out and exactly do the same thing that I just did and catch this beautiful fish. So check out the Fish Angler app down in the description below. And honestly, this is my personal best dog snapper and also my personal best keeper. I don't think I've ever caught a keeper. Brian caught a keeper last year. So I'm gonna stick him into my 65 quart grizzly cooler, get him iced down. And we brought this cooler in case we caught our slot snook. But hey, I'm not complaining at all. We got a cast clean cook. Woo, woo, nice. All right, let's see if I can just flip this guy in. Oh, he choked that. All right, second fish of the day in the boat. I was pretty upset there after I caught that dog snapper because I took my glasses off like I'm doing now and I put them on the top of my platform like a dummy. They blew right off in this wind, so I'm pretty upset about that. But look at that. He freaking choked that lure. He was hungry. These fish today are just seem to be crushing this DOA. All right, there we go. Just popped it right out. It was right in the roof of the mouth. I just sharpened up the hook on there with my uh, Smith Blade, my Smith Consumer Products sharpener. Beautiful fish, we just got turned around. It's freaking blustering out here, it's insane. But right species, he's a little on the small side. Let's see if we can get a slot today. But two, zero, pudding's got nothing. All right, let's put him in the water. Juvenile, not even gonna measure him, but he's probably like a 20. Woo, he's ready, he's gone. All right, pretty sweet. We're crushing it out here, and here comes some storms from offshore, so we're just gonna have to keep an eye on it here, and I'm gonna start throwing that DOA again. It's working today. Come on. We got fish! We got a big storm coming! All right, guys, so like I said, that storm's moving in. We're actually headed to the bridge so we can go hide under it for a little bit while the storm uh, you know, passes by, because we're filming. We got all this equipment out. Put our lines out for trolling, of course, and we just hooked up. So, another species coming to the boat now. Let's see what it is. Good old Jack Crabow. It's been a while since I fought one of these bad boys. He's fighting so hard. Jeez. They're pound for pound. They're one of the hardest fighting fish in the uh, inshore fishery here. Just love them, can't get enough. Wow, he's beautiful. Look at the bright yellow. Crushed that lure with the orange belly again. This one always crushes it for me. But that's a solid one. He's not the biggest one in the world, but you can see how hard they fight. It's insane. 
Let's pop this hook. There you go. Hook's off. Chill out, buddy. Where do you go? He is really pretty. Look at the green on his back. The light hint, hint of green. And a really bright tail. He's super yellow. Maybe that has to do with the fact that he's smaller, but that's really bright. Nice. Third species in the boat. Probably could do a cat's clean cook with him, but I got a dog snapper. That tastes a lot better. They got teeth, so I'm just gonna hold on to his tail. Oop, and he's gone. Cool. That's the first jack I caught in a long time, like I said. But this lure has been killing it for me for years now, for months now. I catch all different species on this lure. Orange belly, green back. It's on my Amazon store. Check out my favorite artificial lures and you'll see all these lures so you can get one too. Trust me, it works. All right, so we got fans over here, Mike, and we're giving them some land shark gear. Sweet. Hats and koozies. Nice. <laughs> Getting hooked up. You see me on the water, you might get some free stuff. Nice. <laughs> awesome. What's up, guys? We made it back to the house this afternoon, so I'm getting ready to fillet up the fish here. Just getting the knife all sharpened up. Let me spray it off real quick, get those shavings off the knife. But I just cut the banana leaves, too, that we're going to use. I'm so excited to try a new method today. So here we go. Let's get them out of the cooler. We got the dog snapper I caught earlier today. Pretty big one, I think. I mean, I don't, I'm not sure. I know they get much bigger than this, especially in the Bahamas, but that's a nice size one for our area and I'm not complaining. A little on the slow side, because we were, we were fishing the harvest moon and we were also fishing on um, Friday the 13th. So with all those factors combined, even though I'm not superstitious, uh, we ended up catching dinner. So can't complain about that. So sharp knife is always important, especially when you're filleting up snapper. Reason being is because they've got these really thick scales. You can see them here. They're just super thick. So to get through that, you really need a thick knife. And we're just going to prepare this fish the same way we usually do majority of our fish. But I'm going to show you right now how I do this. So I just made that cut through the back. And follow that all the way down. And then go through the tail, just like that. And we're going to fillet off this beautiful piece of meat my biggest dog snapper ever, and I'm pretty sure my first keeper ever. I've caught a lot of small ones in the past, so I'm pretty happy about that. All right, so just take the knife, follow that edge all the way down. This knife has a little bit of flex in there, so I like that flex to get in there. Let's flay off the whole side of this fish. Bunch of pin bones right here that I just broke, and then just stay over that rib cage. Don't expose that. There we go. There's one side of this beautiful fish. <laughs> Look at that meat. Amazing. Love snapper, can't complain. Doesn't really matter what snapper it is. I grew up catching the mangrove snapper, but dog snapper looks pretty equal to a mutton snapper or even mangrove snapper. So can't go wrong with any species of them. One day I'm gonna catch a keeper kubera, which I'm excited for that. This guy is going to be delicious in banana leaves. All right, so we just filleted off that skin like so. And then a bunch of pin bones right here in the fillet by the head. So I'm just going to outline those and get rid of it. I guess you could use pliers to pull them out, but it seems like it's a lot more work than it's necessary. And it's easier to just pop it out like this. There we go. There's our fillet. Check that out. It's gonna be amazing. Wish I could share it with you guys. So that side is done. I'm gonna do the same exact thing to I, I just did to the other side of the fish. Then I'm gonna meet you guys in the house to prepare the fish to get wrapped in the banana leaves. Nice job on that filet sizzle. And on that dog snapper, I caught like zero during this whole trip. <laughs> Come on in the sizzle. Sorry. <laughs> so you guys may have noticed that Darcy has been hogging all the pudding sh cooking shows. So now we're getting back to the original cooking with pudding. One video with the mullet. I, <laughs> I think did it was most two. of it. And he just didn't want to put his mic on that day. I don't know. So <laughs> I get anyhow. lazy. Anyhow, I also just want to mention real quick, we're not trying to mask the flavor of a dog snapper because it's delicious by itself, just salt and that? pepper. But we're, we're trying new gourmet recipes with you guys, and this one is Thai inspired.
Oh, okay, so Italian spark, and we're gonna wrap it in a banana leaf that I got from my yard. You can see in this footage right here. And we got all the ingredients uh, all spread out here. Now, Darcy has looked up the, uh, the uh, recipe, of course. Yes. And so we're gonna throw all this stuff and make like a, a, a Thai kind of a curry paste kind of a thing. Right, a marinade. A marinade to put on the fish. All right, so what do we got in here, Darcy? So we got basil leaves. Yeah. And those are from your garden, aren't they? We've got our fish already here. All right, so we got some basil. Yes, I got fresh basil leaves that I'm growing in okay, what the, is this? the backyard. We've got ginger. Ginger. That's going in. Next, what's this? That is chili powder. Chili powder. And what's this? That is supposed to be coriander. I don't have coriander, so a great coriander. substitute for that is cumin with equal parts cumin to oregano. She's like a chef. What is this stuff? That is Worcestershire sauce. It Worcestershire be, sauce. It should be fish sauce, but a good substitute <laughs> is Worcestershire sauce. <laughs> and what is this? That is fresh lime zest. Ooh, lime zest from the lime. Look at that. All right. Into the lime zest goes in there. Yes. Nice. And here's water. So that is, we're supposed to have coconut milk. I don't have coconut milk. What kind of so recipe using, is this stuff, Sizzle? We're using a great substitute, coconut water. Oh, I and drink then, coconut water like every day. And then it, we're adding a little bit of heavy cream to make that little creaminess to it because we don't have the milk. That's that's good. I like the heavy cream. All right, and then we're going to put in, we got some shallots, right? Yep, right one shallot. One shallot. And some garlic right here. We got three cloves of garlic. Oh, nice. And then we need to add half the juice of a lime. Half the juice of a lime. Do you get that fancy thing that they always do, we always use? I don't have one. Oh, we're just doing it like this. We're going just old school. Just make sure watch those seeds. Seeds are good for you. I left all the bugs and the ants on the, on the banana leaves, so we're going to get some job. nice pepper in there. All right, here we go. That's something my dad would totally say. Like, <laughs> the ants are protein. It's good for you. Well, it grows. It will go old. tear on your chest. That's what he used to all say. All right, so we're just going to mix this up now? <laughs> um, I believe so. You got everything in got there? got everything in there. Looks like it. Look around, look around. Yeah, so now we're going to use a food processor and blend it until awesome. it's well blended. Did you guys see that redfish I caught? That video hasn't even come out yet. Oh, Don't spoil it. I'm sorry. <laughs> Hold on. I can't hear you. Whoa. Time to fly now. Oh. All right. Nice job, Sizzle. Now we're just going to pour this in our... Uh, on our, on our fish. Yeah. Um, don't pour all of it. Save some of it to like pour on the fish at the end. Okay? Sure. Don't pour all of it. Save some reserves. So I save some, you mean you're trying to say? Yeah, save all some right. reserves. Okay, I will. All right, so we're going to let that sit for like 15 minutes. Yes, it's going to marinate in the refrigerator. All right, awesome. See you guys in 15 minutes. Oh, I also want to mention I kind of browned these on the grill before. Wilted make them, them softer, wilted them. Okay, so you can see this footage here. About 15 minutes later, I got my, what is this thing called? This banana leaf ready, and we're gonna wrap it up, see how this goes. I'm just gonna take uh, a piece of fish here, and put it in the middle. Not too hard, right? Gotta make sure it fits right in here, I guess, so it wraps up good. Pretty easy. Yeah, not too easy, bad. And I guess just this like this. Exactly. <laughs> Thanks, honey. I got a supervisor here. It goes like this. <gasps> this looks pretty good, actually. And then over here. You're so fancy. I'm pretty fancy. Look at this. And then we're going to use, I cut this out of my yard, too. Or our yard. And we're just going to tie it up here in a little, very tropical, little, oh, little tropical thing here. Not too bad. Look at this. You don't laugh at me, it's my first time. No, Look. I gotta show you how to wrap. It's fine, look, it's beautiful. You just gotta get that corner. Oh, whatever, it's close enough. Good. This it's is good. pudding, cooking with pudding. We cut corners and sometimes stuff leaks. But uh, I'm gonna do the rest, I'm gonna do the other four, and then we're gonna put them right on the barbecue. Let's go. Maybe without so much supervision. All right, guys, time to put it on the barbecue. Nice. Now, I don't know about you guys, but my barbecue, I gotta take the grates off and like start it with a lighter because it's so old and broken. So if Traeger Grills wants to hook us up with a barbecue grill, we'd love that. Please call Traeger Grills. And uh, that's gonna cook pretty fast. Probably, I don't know, 10 minutes. All right, guys, look like it's about done. I did check this piece before. Oh, look how good it looks. Yeah, it looks nice. That's Darcy's piece. <laughs> You can actually just pick these up on your own, no big deal. 
There we go. All right, now some barbecue tips. Real quick, real quick. Always brush down your barbecue right after you're done, like this. Both ways. Then I turn it off. Now very importantly, out of the way, dust sizzle. You gotta turn up the gas. That way you don't have any fires. That's how we say it in New York, fires. Let's go, put Sizzle. Tool. Yeah, put that tool back. Put that tool back. She's so mean to me. Let's go. Run. <laughs> the only time I ran all week. All right, Dark Sizzle, time to dive in. Now, as usual, fellas, I've already had quite a bit of testing going on. So Darcy, why don't you give it a shot? Well, that's your verdict and your own opinion. I know. So share it. I want the ladies first. I'm gonna day drink. Super hot, looks really moist. That's the cool thing about the uh, banana leaves too. It keeps your fish moist. Wow, super moist. And it gives it a nice flavor. It doesn't give it a banana flavor, but it gives it a nice flavor. Like the extra sauce. It's really good. It's really good. That is amazing. I'm so happy I picked that. Well, I ended up using that recipe. That's amazing. It was and my idea to wrap it in the banana leaves. It was. Darcy's idea with the sauce and the. Yes, and it's Thai inspired. And even though I don't have all the proper ingredients, it's amazing. It's really good. Bye -bye. We got some peanut in there, it'll be really good. Heck yeah. Yeah, or curry. We will make that next time. We just made it with a little bit of the yellow rice, as you can see, and having a beer. So that's really it. It's very simple, as you can see. And actually, it's, only, it's about two o'clock in the afternoon. If you're seeing this video at 6 p.m., we gotta get going. <laughs> this is same day filming for y'all today. Real live, it's almost we live. We normally don't do this, but it's pretty close to live. <laughs> but I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Yep. Super stoked on my first keeper dog snapper in my personal best and cooked him up the best way ever. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Like I said, comment below. And until our next adventure, follow, follow your, your dreams, dreams and keep, keep on, on catching. catching. Cheers. You missed that last time. I know. <laughs>